Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody.
mama. Just think for a moment how things were in 2020. Did not think that we would ever make it back to the tabernacle to worship spirit and true with our other brothers and sisters. He deserves a praise. He deserves all the glory. to 
bring forth and bud, that it may have seed, give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word, glory to God, be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereunto I sent it. For you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into sin. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the stone shall come up the fir tree. And instead of the briar oh, shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Somebody tell God thank you. Tell him again, say thank you. Follow you, God, 
and give us a mind to follow them. God help them follow you, God. Yeah. Oh God, help us, God, to stand in right and narrow way yeah. and do what you have signed our hand to do, God. Yeah. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we invite your spirit, God, to dwell in us, God, that we be able to do the right thing, God. To walk right, act right, do right, God. Treat our proud man, God.
Good evening, Northwest B Anger Conference. As the minister said and the presiding said, things have changed in our society since 2019. And normally I'm here asking and begging for support for votes. <laughs> but due to the election being on the second, I don't have to stand before you this night pleading and asking for you to go to the polls and vote. But the second thing that comes to mind is that since 2019, uh, technology is good. And sometimes we wonder what we would do or what we wouldn't do without technology. But Facebook can't do it. Live streaming can't do it. And Zoom can't do it. It's good to be in the house of Israel. So with that being said, from the city of Kingston and our Mayor Don Hardy and all the city council members here, we bring greetings and welcome to you from the great city of Kingston, and we hope that Northwest B has a great and fantabulous 152nd annual conference here this evening and the rest of the week. Uh, I've been away from my family since 6 a.m. this morning, so I can't stay for the whole program. My wife then gave me a curfew tonight, <laughs> and, she, and she told me to be on before my son goes to bed, so I'm gonna slide out. But once again, it's always a pleasure to be here with you and fellowship with the Church of God. Thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. On behalf of the Lone County Sheriff's Office, the Lone County Board of Commissioners, uh, I'd like to extend a welcome to you to here in Kingston, in North County. We hope that you enjoy your stay. We pray that on tonight that a song will be sung, a word will be spoken or heard, something that will resonate in your heart that you can take back with you as you leave this place. Again, we welcome you here to the city of Kingston, the county of Amen. Amen. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We recognize uh, my pastor and bishop, Bishop J. Reddick, uh, who is recuperating. We continue to pray for his healing and restoration. Amen. To Pastor Blow, our assistant to the bishop, <coughs> we certainly recognize him on tonight and our special guests who are here with us. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. And we are so happy to just be able to stand within the gates tonight because it's been a while since we've been able to do this. But we praise God for he continues to work miracles. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. I don't have to be up here standing before you. If I could just be in the house, I know that everything is all right. We thank you, God. Tonight we want to honor the Northwest Bee Convention, uh, Northwest Bee Conference ushers. I'm sure the, the past year has been a real challenge for each of you. It's probably been more than a year, about a year and a half or more now. We've sort of given up on counting, but uh, to be an usher during these challenging times, I'm sure that uh, it's been uh, somewhat difficult. We've uh, had to deal with many different issues, such as masks that we see everyone tonight. 
uh, temperature checks, social distancing, and cancellation of in-person services. Many of you have not even gone back in your churches yet, but you're still supporting us as ushers, and we are grateful for what you continue to do. We thank God for having brought us through the worst of the pandemic. But we must be mindful of the fact that it is not yet over. There are still precautions that we need to take. We need to make sure that we have been vaccinated and, and that we are still observing all of those protocols to make sure that we can keep ourselves and our families safe. But tonight, our attention is to the ushers who have continued to serve. Many of them, as I said, have not served in their churches in uh, probably more than a year. But they're here tonight, and they're supporting this conference. We're going to ask the ushers, and we've not asked them to come dressed tonight because there have been many changes, and, and there are many things that are going on. So we said, come in your uniform if you can. If not, come but we just want to see you out there in the audience. So uh, I want to see you, so I'm gonna ask you as ushers, wherever you might be sitting, if you're in the center where we usually sit, we're asking you to stand. And if you're sitting elsewhere and you're an usher, we ask you to stand as well. continue to be great doorkeepers. And we have a good number standing on the doors right now. Even in this pandemic, we are continuing to usher. So we thank you for the job that you continue to do. Thank you for continuing to support your local church usher boards. And thank you for continuing to support the ushers convention, which you have done a wonderful job this year, financially and otherwise. Thank you for the work that you continue to do in these challenging times. To God be the glory. Amen. And for those of you who served uh, in the dining room today, uh, everyone I asked willingly accepted and we thank you for the job that you did because that was a challenge as well because we had to make many changes uh, as we served those who were in attendance at the conference. But again, thank you for continuing to say yes whenever and wherever we need you. Ushers, we thank you for the job that you continue to do. Thank you. things that we can do, even though we're kind of handicapped with the pandemic. 
glory to God, we're able to, to, to do cards and to make phone calls. And we have done a lot of stuff, even though it looked like we've just been home. But we have done a lot of stuff. The Lord has blessed us in many ways. Glory to God. And we just thank you for still uh, pushing forward. Yes, we've had some tragic things to happen. Yes, we've had some things that we didn't expect. But we just can't throw in the towel right Amen. there. We got to look up towards heaven. Come on. Glory to God. And say, God, you are my help. Yes, and you are my strength. Yes. And we got to keep pushing. Glory to God. And you have done just that. And I pray that you will continue on. For the uh, Elders Fellowship. No, we need to make these presentations first. It's been this year, maybe two years. And I've had these. I've had these first three in my closet. <laughs> Bless God, because we couldn't get them to you. And so tonight, if the baby is here, or if a representative, Sister Irish, oh yeah, there you go, Elvis <laughs> Jackson. If the baby is here, or a representative of that church, and can get this to them, please come and pick it up. For our 2021, the third place, for our 2020, excuse me, for our 2020, the third place was, what is that, Carter Sutton from Post Oak? Post Oak. Thank you. First place was 
Heights from Rockford Chapel. and 
and kept impacting the kingdom of God. You kept the vision out in front and you navigated through the hiccups. Continue on course with your faith in God. Eyes have not seen nor ear heard the things that God has in store for you. To the rest of us that are still here, let us be reminded of what the word of God said. Preach the gospel. Be instant, in season, and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and instruction in righteousness. Make no apologies for what God has created you to do. Work faithfully in your calling. Keep your dreams alive. Never settle for the norm. And think outside of the box. You are not conformed to people's opinion of you or proving yourself to others. God has anointed you to preach the gospel. Every time you get up to declare the word of God, do it to the glory and the honor of God. Every door God opens, let the power of the Holy Spirit use you. For we have this earthen vessel that is that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. Yes, Preach, yes, sisters. Yes, Preach, yes. Pastor yes. Daphne Hall. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. It's offering time. We ask the stewards and the trustees to come. We have additional ways that you can give. Cash out, dollar sign, Northwest B Conference, or www com, and also you can mail your check to North SB P.O. Box 554 Snow Hill, North Carolina 28580 and the cash app is dollar sign NWB conference God is still making his way for us to bless others. The pulpit and the choir will come first. And when when we come back, everybody is to walk. Even if you already paid up, we'd like for you to walk so that way you won't have to cross over anyone. Thank you.
the only thing that I can say about Pastor Cannon from my observation that he loves God's people. When he became the pastor of Beautiful Valley, I watched him from afar. And by talking through with Deacon Burton and the things that he shared with me about Pastor Cannon let me know that he is a man of God. Amen. And he cares about the things of God. One thing that you have to understand that when God changes things, you and I have to learn to accept them mm -hmm. whether Amen. we like it or not. Right. But there's a blessing in change. Right. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ, the choir is going to give us an inspiration selection of their choice. The next voice you will hear by the way of the word is Pastor Walter Cannon. Amen.
song like that. All we need to do is say amen.
And the thing about it, nobody can prove me wrong because I'm not here. But we used to get out in the front yard and play marbles and how you know who shoots first, we would draw a line. And we would step back a little distance from the line and somebody know what I'm talking about. And we would throw the marble and whoever got closest to the line would shoot first. Again, I say I was a little better than they were. And I always got to the line first. So that means I shoot first. Again, I was a little better than they were. And I used to win all of their marbles. And I had this lady called Mama. Very wise lady. And she used to sit on the front porch and watch us shoot marbles. And she saw that I was taking advantage of the other two. And she said to me, I see you always go first. I said, yeah. She said, well, let me tell you something. Now, she said this. This was the first time I heard her say it, so I don't know if she invented this phrase or not, but I've heard it since then. She was telling me, the first gets the worst, but the last get the glass. So what she did was stop me from being first all the time. So I want you to know that tonight is the first night of the conference. So you might get the worst. <laughs> but just wait till Sunday morning, cause the last is gonna bring the glass. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit that abides here with us on tonight. We give honor to our bishop who is not present with us. We give honor to our sister to the bishop who is doing a wonderful job and to his cabinet. Amen. And to all of you who have assembled here tonight, God bless you and thank you for coming out and supporting you. Uh, this Northwest B Conference. Now, Pastor Blood, what I'm going to do is close my eyes and hold my head down when I make this statement. Beautiful Valley, I want you to raise your hands. Now put them down. The reason I did that because I don't want to know who won't hear. Praise the Lord, we come tonight to be a blessing unto you by bringing you a word from the Lord. Amen. And we notice that our theme for this conference is touching God by praying together. Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter and the 14th verse read like this. It said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. Also in Matthew chapter number 18, and it says verse 20, but I want to read 18 and 19, then 20. Listen carefully what verse 18 says. Verily I say unto you, this is Jesus talking, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now Jesus let us know that what we bind here on earth. And he told us how that we can prevent 
from binding things, good things here on earth. Listen to what he says. And I say unto you that if two of you Songwriter composed the song and said, it takes two, baby. <laughs> See, some of y'all trying to be like, you never heard that song. But I ain't been saved all my life. I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that, shall, that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which are in heaven. Now Matthew chapter 20, 18 and 20 says, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them, touching God by praying together. The thing about it is, when we come together, it's a known fact that everybody's not on the same accord. Am I right about it? So if you are not on the same accord, then God is not in the midst. Because he said you have to be touching and agreeing. Is that right? And I'm in the midst. So if you're not touching and agreeing, then God is not in the midst. And if God is not in the midst, guess who's there? Oh, sleuth food. Is that right? Now listen to what Second Chronicles says. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their lands. Now, what I want to do is ask the question. Who is God's people? Can anybody answer that? Who is God's people? Now God's people are supposed to be righteous people. Am I right about it? Supposed to be holy people. Because God is holy, and if we are his children, that makes us holy. Am I right about it? But if we are so holy, then why does God tell us, before I can heal your land, you must humble yourself? Holy people ought to already be humble. Am I right about it?
yourself, pray, seek my face, and turn from your wicked ways. Then will you hear from heaven, and then will I hear your land. Do you not know that this land is sick today? Why do you think Mr. Coronavirus came in? Because this land is sick today. Why do you think Let it 
And the songwriter ended that thing and said, let everything, everything that has breath. And let me say this, and I'm going to sit down. If anything is alive, it has breath. Is that right? That's why the Bible says, let everything. You could be considered a thing. Because you were supposed to praise God. If you got breath in you, you ought to praise God. Even if God feel like God hasn't done anything for you, praise him because of what he's done for me. Am I right about it? If you want this pandemic to cease, all you got to do is praise God. If you want healing for this land, all you got to do is praise God. Why don't you stand and lift up your clean hand and give God the praise? And if you give God the praise and you mean it with your whole heart, you'll see blessings coming down. Because God is in the blessing business. And the only way that you get those blessings is because you got to raise your hand and give God the praise.
thank you, Pastor, for sharing, and thank you tonight for ministering to us. And we certainly honor God and all of who He is. And listen, we would just like to say thank you to those that are watching us by Facebook Live and Zoom and conference call. And we thank everybody for assembling here at the Tabernacle once again. Listen, this has been a great day. This has been the beginning of the 152nd session of the Northwest B Annual Conference. Isn't that a blessing? We've been in existence for 153 years. We didn't meet last year, but this is our 152nd time of gathering, and we certainly give God praise for that. Listen, want to extend an invitation to you to come back tomorrow morning. Uh, Pastor Whitfield will be sharing the word of God tomorrow Amen. morning. Amen. We're excited about what God is going to speak again in our life. And then tomorrow night, we'll have Bishop Alton Smith and uh, his church family. And um, we want you to come back. And Bishop Smith certainly has a word for us. So invite folks to join us by Facebook or invite them to come on down to the tabernacle. Because guess what? We're going to have a good time. Listen, it is time to go home. We want you to journey safely so you can get out of here and get back here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We'll see you then. Shall we stand? And Pastor is going to give us the benediction. Let us look to the Lord in ministries. Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling. And present your faults before his presence with exceeding joy. Through the only wise God, our Savior, be majesty and dominion, and have power both now and forever and forevermore. And let the people of God shout, Amen, 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 amen. and Amen.